Nuclear power currently supplies 52% of the U.S. clean electrical power, and the government has identified the current fleet of 93 nuclear reactors as a vital resource to obtain net zero emissions economy wide by 2050. Since 2013, 12 nuclear reactors have been closed in the U.S. due to expiring their operating licenses, and another eight reactors are going to shut down by 2025. Continuing this trend, more than 10% of the U.S. nuclear power capacity will be lost within the next decade. That's a massive loss, because nuclear generates approximately 20% of the U.S. power, and more than half of its clean ener energy. Several reasons make it difficult for nuclear power to compete in energy markets, its high maintenance cost, low natural gas price, fast development of renewables, and renewable energy price mitigation. Compared to natural gas boilers, a nuclear power plant could produce high-quality steam at lower prices, without pollutant emissions that could be used in the steam methane reforming process. This high-quality steam could be split into pure hydrogen and oxygen in the solid oxide steam electrolyzer. The solid oxide steam electrolyzer is a promising hydrogen production technology, with high scalability, high application flexibility, pure hydrogen production, and enhanced reaction kinetics at higher temperatures with low capital costs. It is claimed that hydrogen production via nuclear electrical power has a comparable carbon footprint to hydrogen produced by renewables. Thermal decomposition of methane, or methane pyrolysis is another technique that can be used for nuclear hydrogen production. The operating temperature of methane pyrolysis is 1100 to 1200 degrees centigrade, but using a catalyst reduces the process temperature to below 700 degrees centigrade. In general, a 1,000 MW nuclear power plant could provide more than 150,000 tons of hydrogen annually. It means 10 nuclear power plants with the mentioned capacity, could produce about 1.5 million tons of hydrogen per year, or 15% of current hydrogen produced in the U.S. Worldwide, the production of 70 million tons of hydrogen from renewable energy would need the commissioning of more than 56 million hectares of photovoltaic panels, or 1 million new wind turbines. The alternative, low-carbon hydrogen from nuclear electricity would represent 400 gigawatts of new nuclear power plants. However, since several countries are decreasing the share of nuclear power in their energy mix, this is a pipe dream. The U.S. Department of Energy DOE, plans to decrease the cost of hydrogen to $1 per 1 kilogram in one decade, and open up new markets for the nuclear industry.